Elizabeth is virgin queen, and she really made a huge attempt to kind of make herself kind of a Protestant equivalent of kind of a Virgin Mary in a way in the last years of her reign. There were all these marriage negotiations that actually continued till she was late in her 40s. The last one was with the Duke of, originally he was Alençon, became Duke of Anjou. And that didn't end till the very early 1580s. But in the last two decades, there was a huge push about kind of Elizabeth Virgin Queen and a comparison with the Blessed Virgin Mary and kind of to a kind of Protestantization of that. Yeah, uh, well, as a writer, would that have effect, uh, offended Catholics? Oh, that yes. Kind of, mm. Some were very offended, in fact. I mean, you find ways in which they made these connections and, you know, certain days of her life and how they, they were similar to days in, of Mary's and Saints' days. And, yes, some, some Catholics were highly offended by it. And you also had, I mean, I've been talking about all this positive Protestant Elizabeth, but you also had a, a very long tradition of hostile Catholic uh, writing about Elizabeth, and and she had lovers, and she uh, she was terrible, and she did this, and she did that, and she really wasn't like other women, and uh, so that that's the other side of this this kind of coin in a way that's going on. I was really looking at it for this from the Protestant point of view, but you're absolutely right. There are very hostile depictions of her from the Catholic point of view, and in fact this sort of idea of how is she the Virgin Queen, there were also, both during her lifetime and then afterwards, discussions of her secret history and her secret lovers, making her not a virgin at all in those. 